Hi everyone, my name is Susan Fleming. I'm the Education Development Manager at Pioneer Balloon Company and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about social media. Um, social media has been really great for education but it can be a little overwhelming and confusing so I have a few friends here with me that are going to give you some Q&A and really dig down deep and answer some of those questions that you've been asking us. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves. First we have Sue Bowler. Sue, take it away. Hi everybody, my name's Sue Bowler. I've been working in the balloon industry for more than 20 years now. Um, I'm a balloon artist and an industry educator as well as the administrator of the Qualitex Groups. And I'm going to pass you now over to Eleanor. My name is Eleanor and I work for Qualitex. I'm digital marketing. So my my job is social media, so I'm going to try and give you tips about how to use social media best. So the Qualitex has a lot of social media outlets. We have pages, we have a Mr. Q page, you can interact with Mr. Q, and we have groups. And groups have been very successful. We have two groups. We have a Qualitex open group and a QBN closed group. And Sue is the admin for both of them. And you had a lot of questions about the groups. So Sue, what was the main what were the main questions about the groups? Well, can I just start by asking what the Qualitex group's for? Sure. Well the Qualitex group is the open group. So it's a balloon community. It's a community for anybody who's interested in balloon to join. And you can interact with other balloon people. So um, who can join the group? Well, it's an open group, so anyone can ask to join the group, but we filter. We don't allow anyone to join. We want only balloon people, or at least people interested in balloons. So it's actually not anyone. It's people interested in balloons. So that's what Sue does. She checks everybody before she allows them to get in. And what can you do on the groups? Well, you can do a lot of things, and we have a lot of interactions, like a lot. Uh, mostly, we have a lot of people posting pictures, so you can share your ideas. You can also um, ask for inspiration, ask questions to fellow balloon people. Uh, really, you can just share inspiration. That's, that's what you can do on the Qualitex group. And what about posting pictures using other balloons, not just Qualitex? Oh, that's fine. The Qualitex group is open and it's about balloon in general. So you can post balloons, balloon art, all kind of balloon art with all kind of balloons. I mean, it doesn't have to be Qualitex brand, it can be other brands, that's fine. And what about pricing? Am I allowed to, or can we talk about pricing on the group? Well, we know pricing is a very big topic for balloon professionals. Uh, it's a really important question, and we had really good blogs on Sue's blog, so check them out first. Uh, discussing pricing, like how do I have to price, is okay. You can speak about the process of pricing, but you can't actually give prices and debate which is the right price, giving actual prices. This is called price fixing, and it's actually illegal, so we are not supposed to do that. This is the probably one of the trickiest questions, Eleanor. Um, what about advertising on the groups? Can I advertise my balloon business or balloon-related items or even educational DVDs? You're right. That's a tricky question because we want you to be successful for your business. You know Qualitex is working hard to help you be successful for your business. That's what we want for you guys. And the Qualitex group is very big, so we have a lot of balloon people. So we understand it's tempting to do advertising, but that's not what the group is for. We want this group to remain a group for sharing ideas and inspiration and not a commercial space. Uh, so we try to avoid what we call blatant advertising. So I know there is a very fine line because we are happy with you sharing like information like I found a new thing, I found a new product, I found a new way to do an arch, I found a DVD that really helped me master this technique. Any kind of valuable information like some anything helpful uh, is okay to share but if you go out there and try to get people to 
like your page or register to my class or buy my product, well, this is advertising and we don't want this space to be an advertising space. So, um, so is the admin. So what, what do you do when somebody is really advertising on the group? If somebody starts to advertise, I will usually contact them and talk to them privately um, because obviously I want them to be aware that we don't, you know, want to see lots of advertising on the group. Um, but it's it is one of those areas, you know, that is a very difficult area to 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 work out which is the right line um, because I do know that a lot of the time information that they're giving can be quite good information. Um, or a new product or something, um, but I agree w with what Eleanor said. We need to to be careful. So basically, anything with a price, like if you say buy balloons fifty percent cheaper, or I have balloons at this price, or we have uh, a class, and then you put the link uh, to uh, register. We won't allow that, and Sue is going to contact you. So you can always try and post it, or you can always contact Sue and ask, I want to post that, is that fine? And if it's not fine, she's going to contact you and tell you, well, this is advertising, we're sorry. What about um, blogs, Eleanor? Are people allowed to, what, what's the best type of blog to put on the groups? Because there's we're seeing different blogs on the group. Well, we love blog. Uh, I think it's a really good way to uh, share information with uh, other people. It can also be a good way to advertise your business. Uh, if your post, if your blog contains valuable information, for example, about uh, using a new technique or um, how you came up with this idea, it's fine. If your blog is just about, oh, we do birthdays and bar mitzvahs, this is advertising. What about um, reposts? If 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 somebody posts something to the group and they don't get any response, do we, should they repost it again, or should they try and stimulate conversation by just going back to their original post? Well, we have a lot of posts. We have a lot of activity on the groups. I think if you post something and nobody reacts to it, maybe it was not the right way to present it. Maybe you need to present it in another way. I wouldn't repost it because we already have a lot of content and if everybody's reposting the same thing several times, we just it's really confusing and overwhelming for people following the group. Well, I found that really useful and uh, those are all the questions that I've got today. So I'd just like to thank Eleanor and back to you, Eleanor. Well, thank you, Sue, and back to you, Susan. Thank both of you. I think that this has been a really great conversation for all of us to have, and I hope that you, all of you out there in our cyber world have had a great time watching it and have found it really educational and useful as well. Thanks. <laughs>